Yeah. Bitch, I'm a big gun toter. Been thugging in these streets, hoe. Put a hole in your melon, nigga. For fucking with my people. Got all these choppers. You might be another sequel. Just these side popping. Now, gang, bro, pin up. Bitch, we bracking all stars. Those zero. What's up with y'all? What's up to the Stoner family? And we're back again. It's your boy, Stone Front of Town, aka J Stone Bro. Nigga, like, why you talking all loud? Y'all, me all soft out here, man. Cause hey, man, it's, we outside. I don't like being loud. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Unless I feel like it. But yeah. So I got another story time for y'all, and I told y'all I got a lot of story times. So just don't think I'ma run out because. I do run out. I just, I didn't, I never ran out, but it's just, I got to think of the other ones. You know what I'm saying? They don't just come to my mind like that because I did a lot of shit, man. A lot of shit, as you can see. A lot of shit y'all don't remember. Well, I, I got to remember it, you know, because I told y'all that fall I took, that nasty fall I took. <laughs> it took a lot of memory. So people who don't know that you can lose memory from a tragic accident like that, you can and you could lose uh, a lot of years of memory that you don't remember no more you know what i'm saying but really what it took it didn't take really it took some of my memories from back when i was younger or it made it hard to remember but it really took the memories that i had from that year that i got shot so that year is like kind of a little foggy to me because it erased a lot of that shit from that year. So too much shit I don't even really remember from that year, even though I do, but I don't. It's like some of that shit, when they, they bring it up to me, it's hard for me to remember because I took such a fall and, and uh, so much brain damage that happened to me at that time. So uh, yeah, it fucked me up, you know what I'm saying? But shit, nigga. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And that's always kept me through anything, nigga. I'm JT, nigga. I'm a whole other nigga, bro. That old nigga, that shit, nigga. They can't stop me, nigga. Like I said, the only way they can stop me is put me with my fucking cast, nigga. Other than that, ain't no stopping me, nigga. So I got another story for y'all writing. And one of y'all uh, put in the comments, uh, say, uh, tell a story when you got caught by your ops or something, or when you, when you did something to the ops. Now, I don't call them ops. I mean, that's the new word niggas say ops. Where I come from is an enemigo or uh, them bitch ass niggas from over there. <laughs> it was never no ops. You know, that just sound like computer type shit. You know, that shit came around the ops. See, what kind of special ops or co ops? I don't know. What ops are we going? <laughs> this shit new to me because nigga, do, nigga, I'm from the enemigo stage. Nigga, that nigga, enemigo. No, that bitch ass nigga from over there. You feel me? That bitch ass nigga from over there was an enemy, basically. Ah, that bitch ass nigga from over there. I don't fuck with them niggas. Well, that's what it was. I don't fuck with them niggas. <laughs> it wasn't no ops. It was just, I don't fuck with them. Whatever he is, I don't fuck with it. <laughs> so, on to the story. So, uh, yeah, man. I know y'all see it shine out here. Sunny, 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 sunny. All right. So, uh, look, nigga. On with the story. So this story I'm gonna tell y'all about. I was uh, you know, I always gotta get y'all the age and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what a nigga do. So uh, at this time I was probably, I think I was, a, I think I was 19, 18. Yeah, I was like 19. And I ain't went to prison yet neither. So yeah, this is the time I was like uh, I was 18. I'm gonna say 18. I'm gonna say 18. And at this time, we was getting into it with the Palmer Blocks, real heavy. Like I told y'all in the last story, you know, nigga chased them niggas. But see, like, but back then, it was real, like, war with them niggas, like, with us and them niggas. Like, us and the Palmer Blocks, it was like, yeah, niggas trying to get at each other one time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A couple niggas got hit that war, too, you know what I'm saying? But a couple of they niggas got hit, too, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got hit. We got hit, they got hit, nigga. So, uh... At this time, this was when the war kicked off. This wasn't, the, the one I told y'all was really after the shit died down, but niggas still, you know, if they catch a nigga, they, you know, they just do something. But niggas wasn't trying to go over there and do nothing to them niggas type shit, you know what I'm saying? So, at this time, this shit was on. The other time I told the story I told y'all about, where the homies, uh, 
We was by the uh, Palmer's and shit and chased the one nigga. See, that was when the shit had basically kind of died down. And she was basically died down. And niggas was just like, fuck it, we called him, do something. <laughs> if we would have never called him, we would have never went over there and did nothing to them niggas. It was just like, he was there, so niggas tried to do something. If he wasn't there, nigga wasn't going to do nothing to him. I mean, he wasn't going to go over there looking for them niggas. Like, we really was looking for, uh, y'all know the treetop niggas. That's who we was really looking for. <laughs> you feel me? If you want to really know the honest truth, nigga, that's who we was looking for. That's why we asked the bitches, where your homies at, bitch? Because we looking for them niggas. <laughs> you feel me? Fuck you. We don't want you. You a girl. And you, you know, like I said, you know, bitches be the main ones doing shit. But, you know, niggas don't want to do shit to girls. They be like, she a girl. I don't want to do that. Me, I'm a different type of nigga. If I got to, then I got to. But I'm gonna keep on with the story, right? <laughs> so this dude, I told you we was big, really get big, getting into these niggas big, right? And I think this before they shot the homie or after they shot the homie. Cause we had several shootings with each other back to back. We shot they shit up, they shot our shit up. Niggas was really going like, yeah, we coming right back. But that's what niggas do though, nigga. We gonna come right back. Don't think it's over. <laughs> don't think it's over, nigga. You get it to a nigga for fruit town, it ain't over. Oh, Paul Rue, don't ever think it's over, nigga. I'm gonna tell you that right now, nigga. Guarantee you get it to a nigga for fruit town, nigga, and think that shit's done with. It ain't. It ain't. <laughs> We some niggas like that, blood. They never over till we say it's over, blood, Paul, bro. So, uh, I'm digging it in the hood, nigga. You know, chilling and shit. Like I like a thug nigga do, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm a true thug nigga. Half a drug dealer, you know what I'm saying? He saw bro, the Paul, bro, nigga, with it, right? So, uh, nigga, I'm in a, uh, I'm in the hood and shit, and it get late, late at night, later on, you know, because I was trying to find a ride, you know, me and a homie, because we didn't stay in, in the hood and shit. <laughs> So we trying to find a ride home. <laughs> so, I'm like, all right, blood, we try to find a ride. We couldn't find a ride. So I'm like, damn, blood. So I told blood, like, shit, nigga, we might have to just catch the bus to the house, nigga. Because we, 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 we both didn't live in the same area, but we lived in the same direction. So it was like, cool. You know, we could halfway go home together type shit. Like, all right, blood, like, nigga. You know, because we didn't really separate to a certain part on the train. So we like, all right, catch the bus to the train. Then we get on the train. Then we basically go separate ways after the train. Like, he go his way and I go my way. And we'll meet back up tomorrow if we want to type shit. So all right, I told him, like, all right, bro, we got to the, go to the bus. So, you know, we get on the bus and get get, get the fuck up out of here. So uh, we was doing a lot of chilling that day and shit, just smoking and shit, doing what we usually do. Just power room and shit, east side, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, like I said, nigga, I told the homies, like, all right, blood, we finna get up out of here, blood. You know what I'm saying? Because we already asked niggas, can they give us a ride? They was like, nah, blood, I got shit to do. I do that. All right, blood. So I told the nigga, nah, all right, blood, me and the homies finna get up out of here, blood. They go to the bus stop and go on. All right, blood, when y'all come back tomorrow, like, yeah, I'm power, blood, I come back tomorrow, blood, I get on the train, come back, I'll, I'll pee y'all tomorrow, blood. So, me and blood go to the bus stop. This shit like eight or nine o'clock. We was just at the spot with the homies, right? Was probably, yeah, I think we was at the, uh, I don't really remember. I think it was homie Tony house or the other homie house. Or we was at the other spot that the homies had on the, uh, on the bread end. Whatever motherfuckers was. We was over there big and before we went over there to the bus stop to wait to go home, wait for the bus to take us to the fucking train station. So me and the homie walked through the hood all the way to the bus stop. Boom. We sitting at the bus stop. So I'm talking to blood like, yeah, blood like, yeah, nigga. It's cold as fuck out here, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And niggas know me that know me. They know uh I never really since since like uh since I was younger, I, I didn't I ain't never really dressed like a game banger since like 2006, 2005 type shit. That was the last time I fully dressed like a game banger every day. Well you knew I was from a gang when you seen me, like, no, that nigga from somewhere. After that I was just wearing what the fuck I wanted to wear. Cause like I told Man, like, nigga, I'm a real pop, real around this motherfucker, man. And I learned that shit from my G homie Munch. You know what I'm saying? I was the, the homie uh, uncle and shit, blood. So I used to always be around Munch all the time, blood. He the one told me, nigga, shit, nigga, it's more dangerous to be low-key, nigga. And he was dangerous like that, nigga. Paru, and nigga had a Bible with a pistol in his Bible. Nigga on Paru, blood, and the homies wasn't playing. <laughs> so I already knew, man, Munch, you dressed like a regular nigga. You would never think much. You could kind of tell because he kind of look a little brazy. But if you one of them niggas who don't look at shit like that, and you just be like, he's a he's a nice guy. He got a, he got slacks on. He got a nice shirt, dress shoes. He got a Bible. 
he's not not knowing who that nigga is. Blood like blood on farm root. Blood. They don't know blood on farm root. The hobie brazy. Blood on fruit tail. The hobie go all the way off on the nigga blood. They don't even know blood. That nigga shit. Unsuspected nigga. So that's what I wanted to be after that when I was like, yeah, nigga, I need to be like the hobie bunchy blood farm root. The hobie bunchy out here. Unsuspected nigga don't even know that nigga kill you blood. That's how I want to be nigga. So I started dressing all nice and booty pop papa. I'm telling y'all this to tell y'all the story, right? So y'all know I'll tell y'all the whole story, I'll tell you the details so you can know what the fuck this shit is about, right? So when I'm sitting at the bus stop, talking to the homie, you know what I'm saying? We chopping it up at the bus stop. I see these niggas pull up in the gas station. Whoa, it's a two-door Tahoe. It's like oh, either dark blue or black. Either one. So the motherfucker was real dark, so we couldn't really see what's that. I mean, I could because they was in a... You know, in a, at the gas station, but it was kind of like, you know, I don't know. It could have been black. Let me say it was a black truck. But it could have been dark blue, like dark, dark-ass blue. I don't really know. I know it was a dark-ass truck. So, I'm sitting in the bus stop. I see these niggas pull in. Whoa. One nigga get out the car with an all-black hoodie on. So, me, when I'm from Bompton, I'm from Bompton, right? So, when I see a nigga with an all-black hoodie... You about to do some shit, nigga. Cause if you see me with an all black hoodie, I'm finna do some shit, nigga. I ain't around this bitch with an all black hoodie and shit ain't finna go down. If you see me with this all black hoodie, shit finna go all the way up, nigga, on me. So, right, I'm chilling. I mean, you see the niggas. One nigga jump out the little truck, go on the stove. No, black hoodie on. I'm like, mm. So I'm still sitting at the bus stop. I should have left. Like I was thinking, like, blood, I mean, I should have get the fuck up out of here. I didn't know who these niggas were. So I was just sitting there still waiting on the bus. I'm like, where the fuck this bus at, nigga? Cause damn, nigga. <laughs> so the homie look, he see the niggas like, mm. He ain't say nothing, no. I don't know but if he thought the same shit I thought, but I know I was looking at them niggas like, mm. Them niggas looks hella suspicious, blood. Like, like, you could tell when ops ain't supposed to be over there by the shit they wearing and the shit they doing. Like, mm, blood ain't supposed to be over here. Look at this shit this nigga doing. So, I'm looking at them niggas. So, the nigga come back out the stove. So, he jumped in the car. So, I'm thinking they finna drive off. Like, cool, okay. He got whatever the fuck he needed. Some blunts, whatever the fuck he got. They finna jump in their car and get the fuck on. So... Nigga, sitting at the motherfucking bus stop. They come out. I'm thinking they gonna, cause they, cause they came, they was, well, they went on Rosecrans. So I'm thinking they gonna turn back on uh, a Rosecrans and, and drive on. What the fuck, them, you know? The nigga came out, made a right. Like I said, we sitting at the bus stop. The nigga pulled up like he was the bus. <laughs> Like blood was finna pick us up and take us home, right? So I'm sitting at the bus stop, the nigga pack like he finna go right, nigga swoop right there like the bus, nigga right on this right where I'm sitting at, right in front of me, nigga. So the nigga pulled up, nigga instantly, nigga pistol grip like I told y'all I used to have, he had the same one, nigga, but his shit was black. <laughs> So he had the all black one. Like I had the silver one with the black handle. He had the black one with the black handle. So he pulled the pistol grip Mossberg out, nigga, out the window of the two door Tahoe, right? The nigga caught it. I said, Cuz, where you niggas from? I'm sitting at the bus stop. I'm sitting down too, you know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting down like. I looked at the homie like. He knew what I gave him that look for because the homie was kind of a little slow. So I'm thinking, blood, you bet not tell these niggas where you from the hood. Because like I told y'all, it's a, it was an ongoing war with these niggas. And like I said, we shooting each other on sight, nigga. <laughs> Ain't no giving no passes or nothing. You from where? Bah, 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 bah. You know what I'm saying? So since I know this going to happen, especially with the niggas, well, I don't even know this, them niggas, but once he said cop the crip, I know any cop the crip right here don't like my hood, you feel me? <laughs> we just smashed on there, all the cop the crips around this motherfucker. I know this nigga right here asking nigga what paru we from. You say fruit tail, he finna kill your ass, nigga. So I'm looking dead in his eye after I looked at the homie. I looked him in his eye and said, sir, we don't gang bang, sir. He said, he looked at his homie. 
look back at me, stare at me dead in my eyes like this. Say, cuz, sure you ain't from nowhere, cuz? I looked him dead in his eyes like, no, I'm not, sir. He looked at the homie who was right next to him. Still had the gun at me. Cause he like, I'm gonna blow your friend away, nigga. <laughs> he looked at the homie and said, Cuz you don't bang neither? The homie said, I don't bang, bro. Crazy thing, right? I seen a motherfucking hand. I didn't even know it was another nigga in the two door tire. I thought it was just the, the driver and the passenger. The nigga hand start tapping on his motherfucking shoulder. He looked back. I heard the nigga tell him, cuz, them niggas some die rules, cuz. Kill them niggas, cuz, them niggas bang. He looked dead back at me again with the gun still on me. Cuz, you sure you don't bang, cuz? I said, bro, I promise you, I ain't from nowhere. <laughs> He looked at me just like this, shook his head. Told the homie the same thing. You sure too, cuz? <laughs> he said, nigga, I promise you, we ain't from nowhere. He said, all right, cuz. So with this west side, Palmer Block, Compton, Crip, cuz. Fuck die rules and fuck food trucks. I was sitting there at the bus like, and got the homie like, or do you agree with him? He, he just looked at him like, it's like, yeah, cuz. Fuck down rules. We just looked at him like the nigga drove off. <laughs> oh, and they drove off, nigga. I still said so. Well, let me tell you to finish the story. So he drove off. I'm thinking he gonna drive a wherever the fuck up Rosecrans and probably go find the power rules he looking for. <laughs> he did a whole U-turn right there when he when he was. Uh, I think it was that Oleander or fucking uh, Matheson. He did it right there on U-turn on Matheson. Yeah. And roll or their windows rolled down when they rolled back up Madison going back toward they hood. And nigga said, Nigga, West Side Bomber Block cop the crap. Fuck dog rules, cop. <laughs> so I'm still sitting there like watching them niggas drive all the way off, cause I ain't gonna lie, I'm still scared. Like blood, them niggas could probably still come back. I waited till them niggas got out of my sight. <laughs> I broke all the way back to the hood. Nigga, I said, fuck that shit, bro. I ran all the way back to the hood, me and the homie, bro. I ran all the way back to the spot. I told the homie, blow, Paul Roo, blood, blood. The bottles just caught us, blood. He said, they just caught you. I said, Paul Roo. He said, what happened, blood? You ain't shot. <laughs> I said, hell no, nah, blood. He said, what happened? I said, blood, Paul Roo. Niggas pulled up in the gutter lane like the bus, nigga. I said, nigga had a Fucking shotgun at my chest, blood. Asked me what's off from fruit tail. I told blood no. So I'm thinking the homie gonna be like, oh, blood, what the fuck, blood? You didn't tell blood no, blood. What kind of shit is that, blood? You supposed to be from the nigga the G homie like blood on Paul Roo, blood. You smart as fuck, blood. <laughs> if you would have told blood you was from the hood, we wouldn't be here talking to your ass right now. Paul Roo, they would have killed your ass. I said, blood, I know that shit, blood. That's why I told blood, nigga, hey, I ain't from nowhere, homie. Hell no, nigga, don't do no shit like that. <laughs> See, me, that's why I never gave a nigga that pass. Now nah, I'm glad he gave me that pass. Because as you can see, uh, too many other niggas didn't give me that pass. And they just shot me. <laughs> they just put a bust on me. Nigga, he looked like one of them niggas he shot, nigga. And that's what I put my shit on, nigga. Because I, I know a nigga going to say that. You walk up with a nigga with a gun, and you finna take his life away. And ask him, nigga, you one of them niggas that I'm looking for, I'm finna take their life away? He going to guarantee, and unless he a retarded this nigga in the world, he going to say, no, sir, I am not none of that, and I am not the nigga you looking for. <laughs> Even a killer will tell you that, because I'm a motherfucking nigga like that. And I told a nigga that. Like, nigga, shit, you know what I'm saying? Hey, sometimes it's, you got to live to fight another day, nigga, because you could be a gangster. And your ass could be on the floor, dead, nigga, right after that gangster shit you just did. Like, yeah, that was gangster. He told me, nigga, just throw child power. Boom, nigga. Boom, nigga. Because he could have easily blew me away. Try to hop out and kill the homie, too. Because I know I would have died. Guaranteed. He would have hit me. And he probably had slugs in that bitch. Nigga, I would have been all over that bus stop. Nigga, just leaking. Nigga, just probably put a, blew a hole through the bus stop shooting me at that motherfucker. So, yeah, man. 
that was another story for you, nigga. You don't ever think my stories gon' slow down, nigga. Cause I got a lot of shit that a nigga done bad though, nigga. A lot of shit a nigga done dead. I just told y'all it's a lot of shit I can't talk about. All right, a lot of shit I can't tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? But the shit I can, it's gonna be entertaining, nigga. I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. I need y'all to hit the notification bell. And I need y'all to share my that's why share this share this share this shit nigga like that all the way like that so i uh gotta continue with the other spill i need y'all to love god love yourself love your kids then love your wife or your girlfriend or whoever she is if she doing right if she not Mm-hmm. <laughs>